<laughs> What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Launchpad1412. Excited to be back with some Madden 16 gameplay here. We're starting. This is the first episode of my ABCD Order series. Start off with the Chicago Bears, as you can see right here. Going against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Right here in this series, this will make it so that, um, this will make it interesting because I have to play with a certain team every time you see the series come up. We're only having this on the PS4. On the Xbox One, I'm just going to play with whatever team comes to mind, <laughs> whatever team I feel like playing with in the moment. So this way right here, I'm able to play with your team. So definitely pay attention to this series if you want to see me play with your team. And I should be able to get to everybody's team. I don't see how I, that couldn't happen unless something catastrophic happens. So right here, I have the Bears, like I just said earlier. Going up against the Pittsburgh Steelers, man. Very solid game. You definitely want to stay all the way to the end for this game right here, man. It, it kind of goes down to the wire. Some of you guys will probably consider this a classic. Third down at 26. My opponent rolls to the right right here. I kind of thought he was going to go to the guy on the right-hand side right here, but maybe he saw something different and Ben Roethlisberger just couldn't get the ball there. At any rate, I'll take it, man. <laughs> and force him to punt the ball on 4 for 26. Man, you, you have to be extremely confident or or not know what you're doing to go for one on four for six and um luckily for him he didn't do that man look at the ball to Matt Forte right here decent day on the ground but I think he had a better day passing it just seemed like expressing this game it was better for me to pass and, and Spurs in this game was, it was better for me to run but at the same breath it was hard for me to tell when to do that you know Spurs and drop Chris Rogers gets it on the phone right there he had a pretty solid game on the ground too matter of fact I think he had a better game on the ground than Matt Forte had fourth down to four decided to go for it Matt Forte is wide open on the left hand side I'll take that spin move Duke two defenders and we get our first score of the contest it's crazy because on that fourth down and four when i went for it i was just looking for a first down did not expect the touchdown and Le'Veon bell gets a huge play on the right hand side he really faked me out with that i kind of thought Le'Veon bell was going to do a route but he ended up stopping and when i see him stop i tried to come back and get him but it was too late he was already off to the races man and as antonio brown gets a nice game right there third down to 10 my is gonna try to get a first down right here he goes over the middle but i end up hitting him and knocking the ball out of his hand Forcing a field goal right here, making the score seven to three, and only put me up four instead of seven. So my turn to burn. I see what we got right here. I try to run to the right hand side and go outwards. I like to do that a lot with Matt Ford takes. I feel like he, even though he can run up the middle too, I feel like he's more of a, a run to the outside type of runner. But they end up stopping me on that on that play. The screen right here, I kind of had a little bit of lane. Maybe could have had a touchdown if I, if I was able to get out of that scruffle. But I end up getting sacked right here. Third down at 14. I got to make something happen. Let's see what I can do. I kind of went to Alshon Jeffries, but he wasn't as open as I thought he was going to be. So I hit Eddie Warrior right here on the left-hand side and get the first down right there. Man, I'm still alive on this drive. Trying, you know, just trying to figure out what I got to do to get down the field. A little bit of dinks and dunks here. A little bit of big plays like this to Eddie Warrior, man. Or the, Eddie Warrior is underrated for, for the fact that he's able to get separation. I'm not sure or how he does it at this stage in Madden, but he he does find a way to get that separation, and I definitely try to use that to my advantage. Third down to 15, I have to try to get a first down again. Let's go to the right right here. I kind of don't see anybody, so I just kind of threw up a prayer, and I ended up getting it picked off, but luckily, uh, my opponent went out of bounds, and I was able to take a field goal, putting me up seven right here. Man, nice kick by Robbie Gold. So we have a 10-3 to lead, a little under two minutes after the second quarter. We're just trying to you know make something happen, and look at this, man. My goodness. Somebody get him! Great play by my opponent right there. Caught me, caught me napping in that defense where I, I like to stop the run on that play. But um, you know, and he'll get that touchdown. So it happens, man. Ten to ten. Like I told you guys earlier, in this contest is a pretty good game. So when I say that, you don't know who's gonna win. I fumble right there, man. Bad fumble right there. But luckily, I recover, man. Third down, twenty-three. I decided to go deep right here to um, Martellius Bennett. He had like six hundred people on him, so there was no way he's gonna catch that. I was throwing that up just for the heck of it, man. So I'm forced to punt right here on the second and twenty-three. He's made me punt. I made him punt. I would say that we are pretty even. You know, we're pretty even. This game is is pretty much gonna come down to who makes the least amount of stakes. Or uh, or one big play, you guys will see. I'll let you guys determine that. Like I said before, some of you guys might even consider this a classic. I think it's the first down right there on third and seven. One and ten right here, man. He started scrolls to the left. Threw me off guard right here. Hadn't ran with the quarterback all day, and that was a good play on his part. Then he goes up the middle, and Antonio Brown, of course, is going to catch that nine times out of ten. There's not too many cornerbacks in this league that can guard him. As I get lucky and force a drop right there. Second down to goal. He does a nice little toss. Everybody's doing the toss. If it wasn't for that spin, he might have gotten in with Dre Archer. Third down to goal. He decides to drop. Back, I thought I was gonna get a pick here, but he ends up finding somebody. I don't know how he squeezed that, and I was like, You gotta be kidding me! Couldn't believe he squeezed that in. But check out this man, he hits me with the fake, though. I was like, No, not the ball. I thought he was gonna score, but thankfully, we get him right there, man. Good stop by us, man. But check out this man, just, just throwing up a prayer here, and look at this. Oh my goodness, I shot Jeffrey's beast and feasting. Shout out to Chris Spoo. 
on that play right there, man. Catching over two guys, man. Trucking somebody. I don't know who he hurled over, hauled over or what. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, man. I thought he was down, but he, he, he kind of did like a float. Maybe he was flying a little bit in mid. Maybe it was a little glide action. I don't know. But I'll take it, man. And I'll also take that one point lead. And I'm not sure why my opponent decided to go for it. Um, well, to do, do that fake um, <laughs> that fake field goal. But I must admit, it truly did throw me off, man. So I have a one point lead here. As you can see, I, I was forced to punt the ball. So, you know, in my opinion, that's not good. Because, I mean, punting is good. But at this point, at this point in the game, I understand clearly that this guy can drive on me. I understand this guy can score on me. So I'm a little bit scared right now. Because if he gets this score, he takes the lead. And what if he stops me again? I don't necessarily have the best offensive team, even though I have I have decent offensive weapons to where, you know, I could do something. But look at this. My goodness. Check this out one more time. One more time, y'all. Look at this, man. Look at this one-handed grab. You gotta be kidding me. I, like, I was so shocked he got that. Like, I, I think that's the first time I've ever seen a one-handed grab interception as far as when I play this game. I've seen other YouTubers do it on their game. I thought I, thought I was going to break right there again. But, um, man, that that was just amazing. So, second down and seven, I have opportunity right here to score. And I give it to Martellius Bennett. Beamed it to him right there on the right-hand side. I seen he was wide open, so I slid that in there. First down and ten, I get a decent run right there. Second down and ten, I decided to run with uh, Jay Cutler, man. Thankfully, I slid and didn't get destroyed. <laughs> Third down and five. I'm looking for Matt Forte. I find him first down. We keep the chains moving. Next play right here to Josh Chris Rogers. We run to the left right here. And he gets a nice little, they get stuff right there. But he gets a nice little five-yard gain. Right there, that probably should have been picked. That was a risky pass. Even though the lag did kind of mess me up right there. Fourth down and five. I felt like I felt like I had to go for it for the simple fact that this guy was so good as far as getting as far as scoring, being able to score me. I find Alshon Jeffries on the right hand side. And luckily I was able to get that playoff, man. When when the quarterback has the ability to scramble scramble, as I get a touchdown right here to take an eight point lead. When the quarterback has the ability to scramble out the pocket in this game, I notice that it is extremely dangerous, man. You, you kind of want to make it so that the quarterback the, the guy that you're playing against is not comfortable with doing that, especially somebody like me. Because if I get comfortable with doing that, I just seem to make plays for some strange reason, man. <laughs> First down 10. I end up stuffing my opponent right there. Second down and 16. He decides to go deep right here on the left-hand side and check out this. We get a pick. Oh, my goodness. That pick, it, it, it was so crucial to my psyche in this game as far as me feeling like I was going to be able to win the game. But it's not over yet. You look. I know you're looking at the score. I'm up 8. A little over two minutes though. You're like, this is in the bag. Third down and inches, I get stuffed right here. Fourth down and one. Like, you know I'm gonna go for it, but he he sent the cheerleaders, the mascot, the fans, and I didn't even see it coming, man. And he gets a short yardage opportunity right here, and he takes advantage of that score on the first play. And check out this. He goes for two. He has to go for two right here. The tie the ball game up. Threw me off right here with the tight end on the left hand side. Usually people use the tight end on the right hand side to make plays on the in the goal line. That's why I was over there, and we have a tie ball game, folks. But I'm I'm not that worried. Even though he stopped me a couple times, I'm just thinking to myself right here, all I got to do is get a field goal. Right? There's no need to panic. I've got 24 points on this guy. Obviously, I can score on him. You know, things happen. Let's just let's just make some right decisions right here. Let's make good reads and not throw a pick and, and, just, and, just, and just make smart decisions. Let's see what we can do right here. I get a nice little... Little run right here with Josh Crash Rogers. I believe he got gained five or four in that. I give it to him again, man. He was he was beast in the feasting, man, in his own right, man. He I think he had a better day on the ground than Matt Forte, man. As Matt Forte tried to get some extra yards right there, getting me close to a field goal, and he does complete that mission. And we end up winning the game, man. Shout out to my opponent. Much love, much respect, man. He was um he was a beast in my opinion, man. I, I think we was on the same level, man. Just my personal opinion. I think any of us could have won this game. Uh, if we play, if we played like a seven-game series, I think it would go down to uh, to game seven, and maybe some type of miracle play at the end would happen. <laughs> well, like who knows? Or whoever has the ball at the end will, will probably make that. Will probably make the best. Um, will probably have the best chance of winning. Whether well, the ball lasts, even though he did throw about two or three picks compared to me not throwing any picks, but. He still um, was able to stop me more often than than normal. So, um, yeah, you got to give him props for that, man. Shout out to him again. Shout out to all my subscribers. You guys are the greatest subscribers on the planet. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the stats right here. And if you enjoyed the game and the series, smash the like button for your boy, man. In the description, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram and, and Twitch and all that great stuff. This is your boy, Launchpad1412, and I'm out.